So I have a lot to go over in this video, so I'm going to work kind of fast. I want to talk about um, the waveforms that we create with the delay time in conjunction with feedback. So delay time is dictating the length of a cycle of the waveform that ends up becoming sustained in this loop. And we are creating something with a pitch because we are sending something into this delay unit to be delayed by a certain amount of time. And then a copy of that is then pasted back in to be delayed by the same amount of time. And that process happens over and over and over. So we're copying and pasting the same waveform. Uh, we're filling this up with data that's being copied and pasted at a rate of this, this delay time window. And so we are creating a waveform with a fundamental, a cycle time of 50 milliseconds in this case. And 50 milliseconds ends up a waveform with a cycle time for one cycle being 50 milliseconds ends up being 20 hertz. And with the control, we can go all the way up to 0 0.1 milliseconds, which is 10,000 hertz. So we can create any, any fundamental between 20 and 10,000 hertz. Let's see what that looks like. And I'll be using noise to really illustr illustrate this because again, it doesn't matter what we end up throwing in here. It just ends up getting copied and pasted over and over and over to create a regularly cycling waveform. So even noise ends up ends up adopting a pitch. Um, and so let me make sure that I'm using noise. Yes, I am. And so again, a delay time of 50 milliseconds ends up being 20 hertz. Let's look at that through the analyzer. And there we have it at 20 hertz all the way down at the bottom. We can raise that an octave. So 25 milliseconds would be half the cycle time, which means 40 hertz. And there we have it at 40 hertz is the lowest note there. Whoops. And we can go all the way up to, what would it, a uh, delay time of, of um, well, I'll do that next. Let's go to 0 0.1 milliseconds and listen to that. And we have all this, all this random noise. What we do see that we do start getting a fundamental all the way up here. Now it ends up going up to uh, 7 kilohertz, not 10,000 as you would expect. And that's because this is not 0 0.1 milliseconds. It's actually probably something like 0 0.15 or whatever, any any longer time that's going to make it go down to 7 kilohertz. I haven't figured out the math um, behind what it is playing at since it's only going up to 7k, but rest assured that if it was perfectly 0 0.1 milliseconds, we would see a fundamental at 10k. So anyway, let's go with a cycle time of 10 milliseconds, and that will create a fundamental at 100 hertz. And now multiples of the fundamental, uh, you know, uh, 100 times 1, 100 times 2, 100 times 3, that's where the harmonics are. So we're getting odd and even order harmonics, just like a sawtooth. 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 300 hertz, 400 hertz. In fact, let me play a sawtooth just to show that it has the same harmonic series as most things do. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. We have whole number multiples of the fundamental. And that's because this is what's called an asymmetrical waveform. Only asymmetrical waveforms create odd and even order harmonics. If it's only odd harmonics, then we have a symmetrical waveform. So let me talk about what that is. In the LFO section, it's probably easiest to illustrate. A triangle wave would be an example of a symmetrical waveform. And it's, uh, it's easiest to understand a symmetrical waveform by uh, can it cancel itself out by shifting it 180 degrees. So if we were to shift this by 180 degrees and then sum it, you would see that the, that the midpoint between every part of this cycle ends up being a perfect cancellation, ends up being zero volume. And a sawtooth wave, if we were to flip that phase by 180 degrees, we see that the midpoint uh, does not uh, equal zero. In fact, we end up just creating a sawtooth wave an octave higher by summing a, a saw with another saw that's 180 degrees out of phase. So it cannot cancel itself out by shifting its phase, by shifting it over in time. 
Um, uh, so let me go back to the effect. Um, so we've, again, we've created a waveform that has odd and even order harmonics. Uh, but if we have negative feedback, you'll notice something interesting here. And let's look at that and let me take off my sawtooth wave. And let's go back with noise. So let's take a look at what happens if we have negative feedback. So we still have the cycle time of 10 milliseconds, which should have given us a fundamental at 100, right? But it's different now. We have a fundamental at 50, and now let's think of multiples of 50. Uh, 50 times 1 is 50, 50 times 2 is 100, which we do not see a, a, an overtone there. Uh, 50 times 3 is 150. We do see that. We do not see it at 200. 50 times 4. So in other words, we see the first, not the second, not an even order harmonic, the third, fifth, seventh, so on and so forth. So we have created a waveform that can cancel itself out. Um, and let me show you why that is by uh, illustrating it. So let's say that we have uh, an asymmetrical waveform, like a sawtooth waveform. So here's a single cycle of a sawtooth. Now remember negative feedback. Let me look at the diagram again. Negative feedback is sending a, it's, it's doing a, a polarity flip of the copy and then sending it back into the input, which the same exact data is being delayed by a certain amount of time and then copied again, but then it's phase flipped again, right side up with negative feedback. So we have um, uh, a waveform that keeps getting uh, uh, flipped upside up and upside down. So if that were to happen with the sawtooth wave, we have a saw down, and then on the, fir on the first polarity flip, we would then have a saw up, and then on the next polarity flip, we would have a saw down. Oh, whoops, let me mouse slipped there. Uh, uh, so on and so forth. And if, uh, so we've effectively created a triangle wave um, uh, with the sawtooth wave. And I could use any waveform, it doesn't matter. I could use, you know, a waveform that was uh, collected from noise and it would still display the same property. Because no matter what waveform you throw into it, if you are uh, flipping it upside up and upside down, then of course it will cancel itself out. And let me um, kind of show this by grabbing a cycle and then copy and then paste. Now, if I were to shift this by 180 degrees, we of course get a cancellation. We get a new, we get a waveform that when summed just equals zero. So hopefully that illustration makes sense. And it also means that the cycle time is effectively doubled. So by doubling the cycle time, that's what explains the the octave lower fundamental, and that's also and the flipping upside up, upside down continuously also explains the odd order harmonics, and so on and so forth. Um, so now I want to talk about uh, uh, delay time and how that creates uh, cancellations. So I still have noise. Um, let's bypass this. And I, um, with a delay time of zero, we have the signal uh, reaching the output as soon as the dry, we have the wet signal reaching the output as soon as the dry signal does. Um, let's uh, sum the, the dry with the wet, the dry with the wet signal, and let's give it some delay time to see what happens to the to the waveform. We see comb filtering. Um, so to explain what's happening there, um, let's say that we have a a ten uh, a ten uh, millisecond cycle time for a sine wave. And if we, I can illustrate this probably with the LFOs. 
So with a sign. Okay, let's say that this lasts 10, 10 milliseconds. It's a, it's a 100 hertz sine wave. And then if I were to delay that by, uh, if we have 10 milliseconds for the full cycle, if I delay that by 5 milliseconds, we get, of course, another perfect phase cancellation. Um, and so what's happening here is that if I delay something by um, uh, 5 milliseconds, then I should get a cancellation at 100 hertz. So let's see if that theory uh, ends up going to practice. So if I go down to 5 milliseconds, we see our phase cancellation at 100 hertz. So it doesn't matter what data that I throw in here. If there is a, if there's any data at 100 hertz, that's that's gone. That's getting canceled out by the delay time. 